Everybody's nerves in the house. Champions Wiffle Ball Garage World Series Game 7 Championship! So far we've played <laughs> six games and the boys have tied it up and now we are in... Ow, you're... Keep the thing straight. I, I am. So we are now in Game 7. The boys have been playing every night for the last seven days and now we are in Game 7. It is tied. Gavin... I won three. Gubby won three. So we're in Game 7. We got Gabriel here. It's been a really close game, folks. We're super excited for who's gonna win and take home the trophy! But here's the thing, guys. One thing I didn't tell you is that the winner is not only gonna get a trophy, but the winner is also gonna get a Dick's Sporting Goods gift card with $100 on it and $1,000 in cash money! <clears throat> Thousand dollars? Is that big money or real money? Cause you brought that trophy at Amazon, so. If you don't believe me, it's all here. Look, thousand dollars to the winner. A thousand dollars? I'm putting it in the cup. There you go. All right, Gabriel. So you fought back, and now it's game seven. How are you feeling? It just fills my heart with emotions. We're just free moves. I mean, just a thousand dollars and that trophy. I just don't want to lose. Yeah. Gavin, how are you feeling? Good, cause if I win this one, I win the whole entire series. And I'm a soccer player, so it'll be really embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about the rules of the game. We're playing in the garage, pretty close quarters here. We'll be playing nine innings. Each player will get five outs in an inning. That is the backstop and the home plate. And this is the home run. This is a one-pointer, halfway down if it hits the bottom half and you get the one pointer it takes away one out a two pointer will be anything from this half and up if it hits the two pointer then it takes away all of your outs. so let's say for example you had four outs and then you hit a two run home run here now you have no outs and you have two runs also if you hit this red three that's worth three points it's possible i got it once if it hits the ceiling you're out. If it hits the sidewall, you're out. If you miss it, you're out. You tip it, you're out. The ricochet rule. If it hits anything in the garage, let's say it hits this weight set and it bounces and goes right into the wall, that counts as a hit. If it hits this and goes down to the ground or into the ceiling, that's an out. Make sense? Yeah. There it is, folks. The Garage World Series. Oh yeah, did you show the pump? Trophy. The don't mind the garbage over there, and don't mind the garbage over there, and don't mind the messy garage. So this game will decide who the true champion is. Since Gabriel won the last game, Gavin will get to choose heads or tails. The winner gets to decide if they want to hit first or hit second. This is heads, this is tails. When it's in the air, go ahead and give it a call. Tails. He called tails. And it is tails. Would you like to hit first? He wants to hit second. Now rise and take off your hat for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Play ball! He did swing, he swung. Three out. I swung? Three out. Four out. Five out. The score, two to zero. Three 
The bottom of the first inning, folks. Gavin Korth has taken the lead four to two. Mm -mm. Wow. I didn't even say time was ready. Twenty minutes. Okay. It is the bottom of the second inning, four to two. One out. Top of the third inning, four to two. Gavin's winning. One out. Two, two. Gavin Court ties this ball game up. Five out. Here we are, the bottom of the third inning. The score is tied four to four. With Gavin Court up to bat. That's the game, unfortunately. Bottom of the third. Two! Two! Gavin Court takes the lead with that blast. Two! Two! Four! But right, Gavin Court scores four runs in the bottom of the third to take the lead. How you feeling after that great inning? Well, I know if he scores one, I'll be still in the lead, so I feel better. Good, okay. good inning. Here we go, Gabe. The score is eight to four, top of the fourth. Gabriel Korth comes up to bat. <laughs> and the top of the fourth completed. Gabriel scores two. The score now six to eight. Gavin is still leading. Oh my gosh. Nice job, Gav. Don't worry. I broke those four. Okay, so sorry for that technical difficulty there, folks. But we've got it fixed. Ah! It's a little bit darker in this area, but uh, game on! It is the bottom of the fourth inning. Uh, Gavin has two runs so far and two out. Ah, five out. We're in the top of the fifth inning. The score is six to ten. Gavin's lead. Five. All right, Gabe for two runs, no out. Five out. Ha! No four out. The score is 10 to 8. Gavin's in the lead. We are now in the top of the sixth inning. Ooh. One. one out. Two out. Three out. That's four out. Uh, five out. No run for Gabriel in that inning. On the ground. Five. Zero runs. Okay, so we are in the seventh inning stretch.
That's four out. <laughs> Take it easy, buddy. <laughs> Top of the eighth inning. The score is 14 to 10. Gavin's winning. We are now in the bottom of the eighth inning, 10 to 14, guys. Oh, five out. Top of the ninth inning, the score is 14 to 10. Gavin's leading. This is it. What? This is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gabe. Gabe, bro, listen to me. 14 to 10. I know. You need four runs. You need to catch up. We are experiencing technical difficulties. All right, take a breath. You ready? Two. Down to run. How you feeling? Good. Respect. Four. Four. Two. 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 Six runs, four out. Gabriel, you got a little bit emotional there. You scored eight runs in the top of the ninth inning. How you feeling after that? Good. All right, so the score is 18 to 14. He needs to score four to tie, five to win. Everybody's nervous in the house. You just off. One. One. He's only just got to score one more. up and sometimes you're gonna lose it's a part of the game but this is a world series i know but buddy think about all the good things that you did look look at those great home runs that you hit I know. you're eight years old he's almost 10 and you played so good i'm so proud of you and i know i bet you your brother's proud of you too did you have fun not really i was nervous but Bubba, we're just playing we're playing wiffle ball in the garage congratulations i love Congrats, Kevin. Good job, buddy. I feel bad for my brother, but I can't go easy on him because he learned nothing from it. And yeah.